Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast of brief messages to help humanity bridge the gap to the new earth. My name is Vivian Gerard. It is my delight to be a scribe for consciousness today, sharing the wisdom that flows through from source. Here we go. So 259. It is Monday here in Cincinnati. It is a sweet September Monday. The sky, it's been blue, but there's definitely some puffy clouds that are moving through. It's in the 70s and 80s today outside. The leaves are falling. It just feels so good to be in this season of change here in the Midwest. It's one of the most beautiful times to live in Ohio. I believe when everything is changing to reds and golds and oranges and it's just so pretty. So yeah, it is Monday, new week. We are, where are we? (laughs) Perhaps that's the question to be asking today. Where are we? (laughs) Oh, there has been just so much coming up for so many people and it's a lot. It's a lot, so so where are we? <laughs> Maybe that'll be the title for today. The title I've been feeling is jet lag, but <laughs> jet lag and where are we have a lot in common, so maybe it'll be both. <laughs> All right, let's review. Let's review. We had a reset. What was that? Oh my God, two weeks ago? Are you kidding me? <laughs> two weeks ago, we had a reset. That was around the new moon week, and I believe this Saturday is a full moon. So we are moving towards illumination, my friends. (laughs) There is is clarity and wisdom arriving. It's arriving. (laughs) Hang in there a little longer. (laughs) Uh, So we had a reset, and then we worked through all of the bugs in the system that needed to be cleared out once the reset was commanded by each of us, and then... Last week was all about reassessing, (laughs) reassessing again and again and again a couple more times. So today, today where are we? Today the topic is jet lag and, and it's fascinating how life mirrors exactly what is happening energetically for us, you know, as individuals and also as a collective humanity here on this planet. And so I I do my best to tune into that and translate it in a way that is applicable for each of us and gives us some nuggets of wisdom to guide our path. And when I say I tune in, I very clearly want to say I tune in knowing source is moving through me. And so the words that come out are much wiser (laughs) than the words if I were just sitting here trying to think about what to say. (laughs) Just allowing the energy to flow is way easier and way more accurate and way more powerful. So why jet lag? Well, last week I unexpectedly had to go out of town and I did quite a bit of traveling and moving through time zones. And when I got back home on Saturday morning really early, I went to bed and I got up later, I don't know, at nine or 10, and felt pretty good, but not 100%. And then I moved through the day and I could just feel my body going, what happened? <laughs> what is going on with you? What time zone are you in? Where are you? <laughs> Even though I knew I was home and I knew my body was being nourished and everything was good around me. My body and my mind were just trying to go, what, what's going on? Where are we? <laughs> and so today I thought this topic of jet lag is so appropriate because this is what many people are experiencing right now. When we had that, that concept or opportunity of a reset, when we claim that sort of shift in our human journeys, what often happens is our consciousness shifts to bring us into that new thought place, that new awareness, that new expansion. Consciousness, the energy that is individually in us and then also 
collectively happening for all humans, for all beings, for all planets, for all everything. That collective energy is called consciousness. And we as humans have attempted to define it in so many ways. And there are so many philosophical conversations and videos and classes and books and everyone has an interpretation of it and it's the whole point that is the point is that everyone has their own interpretation of it so what i offer is my interpretation and when you listen to it you'll you'll find some places that maybe resonate and you'll find some that maybe don't and so your work your expansion is to find what's true for you and then take that and let that guide your own next steps what i believe happens when we claim some sort of shift or reset or changing an old pattern, creating a new pattern, giving up the cigarettes. I don't know why that was the example that was so common for me in the last couple of weeks, but giving up cigarettes, becoming healthier, choosing to be more abundant, stepping into a new job, ending a relationship, whatever, whatever the thing is that we are going to explore in our own human journey. Consciousness expands with that because we're opening ourselves up to something new and something different. So it's like, it's like if you're in one familiar pattern, your body gets adjusted to how it feels to be in that pattern. So if it's limited or unhealthy or toxic or familiar in a way that doesn't serve you, it still feels comfortable and normal. It's like me being here in the Eastern time zone. I know what time my body wants to wake up. I know that's when the sun is usually going to be up, even though we have this crazy thing called daylight savings time just to mess us up a little bit. <laughs> I still kind of have a rhythm. I have a rhythm. My body knows what the rhythm is, and I get up, and I do that rhythm, and when it's dark and I'm tired, I go to sleep. And so we get accustomed to this flow of mind, body, spirit where we are. When we decide to do a reset or have some shift happen in our lives that is going to change us, expand us, help us become different or new or more or evolved, we step out of the rhythm that we have known into some new rhythm. So a great example of this, this is why I was so excited when the idea of jet lag came through. Jet lag is I'm going to move through time zones and my body is going to have to adjust its rhythms that it naturally knows to adjust to the new time zone. Because the light is going to be different, the sun is going to change at different times, The sleep-wake patterns are going to be different. Your body knows when it's moving through time at a pace that is faster than our normal walking or driving a car. When we fly, it's turbo speed, right? And if we're flying a long way and we're doing lots of time zones, our body knows something is changing, even though you can't physically say, I have expanded or I, there's no, it's not a structured thing that, like you open a book and you say, okay, I've moved through these time zones, so my body's going to have this reaction and this reaction and this reaction, I'll do these things. It's, it's within each of us individually and we sort of have to feel our way through it. People who travel a lot are going to have an easier time. People who don't or who are very rigid in their schedules are going to struggle a little bit more. And so this idea of jet lag is your body is trying to catch up to the speed at which you are moving through the time. The one Google thing I looked up right before the call or before the meditation. What is this? This is a podcast. <laughs> the call meditation podcast. <laughs> when I looked it up, <laughs> I guess it's all of those. <laughs> when I looked it up, it said typically the the body is going to need uh, one day per one or two time zone shifts to adjust to what has happened. So if you think about doing lots of time zones in one day, it's going to take your body a couple days to get into that new circadian, I think that's how they call it, circadian rhythm of the body. If you do a lot of time zones and you come back, you're double whammying yourself. You're going there and then you're switching around and coming back. And so the body's like, are we there? Are we here? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? What is this jet lag that I'm experiencing? So how does that, how does that apply to this idea of consciousness? What is happening on our planet right now 
is that many souls in human bodies are awakening. They are we. We are all becoming more aware of the fact that we are more soul than we are physical human. And so it's like flying through time zones and the body's trying to go, what is happening? What is happening? What happened to the familiar routine, the circadian rhythm that I have known for so long? What is happening? Why is my mind so far ahead of my physical body? Why won't my body get up and do the things that it would normally do to make everything in my world feel familiar? The soul, the consciousness, has some things that it wants us to become aware of. Your soul wants you to move through these time zones. I call them dimensional levels, consciousness dimensional levels. It's the exact same idea as a time zone. If you're in this 3D, we'll use this as an example, maybe you're in a 3D third dimensional consciousness level. You are very familiar with what you see, what you hear, what you know, what you can experience, what life feels like right now. And that is a very comfortable space that you've been in. If you are moving into what I would call 4D, fourth dimensional energy, your soul may be saying, we're going to take you through a time zone shift. So maybe we're going to go back into the past and look at some stuff that you haven't healed yet that has been holding you back. Maybe we're going to move you forward in time and show you a vision of what it is you're supposed to be doing in this life that would be of higher value to the world, of higher value to your soul, to your own evolution. When your soul shows you a forward time zone or a, for, a past, a backward time zone, your physical body is going to go, what is happening? Where are we? What is going on? I don't understand. This is the world I've known. This is the world that feels familiar to me. I'm not ready to make the change. And so it's the same as jet lag. You're going to have the, the exact same physical symptoms as someone with jet lag. So why did I have this experience last week of having to travel and travel back quickly? Because clearly I needed a reminder of what jet lag feels like so that I can tune into that and share that again with you. So jet lag, we'll call it consciousness shift lag. <laughs> Consci consciousness expansion lag. <laughs> we need like an abbreviation, you know, a code name so that when you're talking to someone, you can be like, blah, 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 <laughs> instead of having to go consciousness level shift, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we'll come up with a code and, and I'll share it with you. <laughs> For now, we'll just call it a shift. A shift, right? It's the same thing as jet lag. So if you're shifting backwards or forward, it doesn't matter. The feelings are going to be the same. Imagine when you get off of the plane and you haven't been able to sleep, but it's the time when your body is supposed to be sleeping. You're so sluggish, right? Every part of your body is just trying to coordinate with each other and remember, oh, that's right, we move one leg forward in front of the other, and when we're tired, we sit down. Oh, wait, I think it might be time to lay down, but I don't even care if I'm laying in a bed or on the floor or I put my head on a table right now. I just have to close my eyes. When we're moving through time zones, when we are moving through consciousness shifts, seeing with our physical eyes is sometimes just too intense because the world somehow doesn't look right. <laughs> it doesn't look the way it's supposed to look. It's like when you're on the ground in the airplane looking out at the tarmac and the other airplanes and everything looks normal. And then suddenly you go through the clouds and you're like in this floaty space of blue and white and reflective sunlight or moonlight that blinds your eyes. And so what do you do? You close the screen on the window and you just go into a little vortex. It's exactly the same when you're shifting consciousness. You gotta lay down, you gotta close your eyes. You gotta just go in and allow the soul and the body and the mind to figure itself out for a little while. How long? Well, it depends on how much consciousness is shifting, how far back you're going in time or how far forward you're going in time. So if we're doing the average of what did the Google thing say? One to two time zones takes a day. It may take you a couple days. It may take you a week. If you're really having a hard time or there's some big stuff that has to be looked at and cleared and healed, it may take you a month. What slows it down is when we're fighting it. 
when our mind and our body are yelling at us or the soul is like, hurry up, what's taking you so long, <laughs> right? Or we forget that we have a body. So think about this, when you have jet lag and you're just sort of in that zone and you're just moving from one flight to another flight or from one line in customs to another line in customs and you're just shuffling along, you tend to forget you're hungry. You start to forget that you need to drink water. So the most important thing you can do first is rest, 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 and then drink water drink water. You don't need pop or wine or beer when you're going through time zones, right? That's just going to sluggish you down even more. You need water, fresh water. So get out a big glass of water if you're matching what I'm describing here and keep filling it. Maybe write on the outside of your glass or your water bottle, love, calm, peace, (laughs) right? Infuse it with words that will make that water even more more healthy for your body, more nourishing. The words I like to use best for this kind of consciousness shift or jet lag is extreme self-care. Extreme self-care. And I coined that from one of my friends who used to have parties to say extreme self-care. It's that important. What is it that your body absolutely needs? Do that do that for your body because when your body starts to feel safe when your body is able to rest the mind isn't going to be in that fight or flight mode the mind isn't going to be expecting a crisis and looking for a crisis the mind's going to be able to just rest and when your body rests and your mind rests your soul comes forward and your soul is able to say okay we have a plan You just forgot about the plan. (laughs) The plan is we're moving through time zones. We're doing a little consciousness thing. We're going from 3D to 4D or 4D to 5D. Or maybe we're going from 5D to 7D and we're just going to barrel through consciousness. We're going to evolve. Sometimes when we are traveling, we don't want to just go from Cincinnati to New York, which would be the same time zone, or Cincinnati to uh, California, which would be three time zones. Maybe we want to go across the ocean. <laughs> Maybe we want to go to Hawaii. And so our, our jet lag is going to be bigger because we're going however far that is. Is it eight hours, I think, between here and Hawaii? Eight time zones? I don't know. It's a long way. But we want to go to this place that's like paradise. And so we're going to just move through a whole bunch of time zones. The jet lag is bigger when you do that. It's going to take longer to recover. It's the same for consciousness. If you're in 3D or 4D right now and you may hear me and go, I don't even know what she means. I don't even know what she's talking about. Well, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I wrote an amazing book that will describe all of the consciousness levels for you. And it's like a little guidebook, a massive guidebook. It's like, it's like the time zone guidebook for traveling around the world, except it's based on consciousness. And so... You can go from here to Hawaii, and this book will show you how to do that. You can go from here all the way to Hawaii, around the other side of the world, and back to Cincinnati, and become a completely different person, and this book will guide you how to do that. It's called One Day, My Soul Journey in the Gaia Tribe, and you can find it on my website, and it'll have a link to Amazon. But if you're listening to me, and you're like, I don't know what she's even saying, but there's something, there's something she's saying about 3D or 4D that I have to learn more about or that I know is happening in my journey right now. This whole jet lag thing is real and I don't know how to navigate it. That book will teach you, it will show you, I will walk with you in that book through how to navigate it. And if you're not into reading, no problem. Play with the idea of jet lag. Think about jet lag. Tune into what jet lag experiences are like. Google it. Do whatever. Find information about jet lag, and it will help you understand what is happening to you as you're evolving through consciousness. It's the same as going through time zones. So some people, for example, want to go from Cincinnati to Hawaii. (laughs) They want to have a massively awesome expansion. And they don't want to just do it slowly and cautiously. So maybe they go from 3D to like 7D. Well, think about that. If you're going through all these time zones, 
it's going to take you a little while to figure out what happened to your mind, body, spirit. It's the exact same for consciousness. If you're having this soul intention to move very quickly to a more advanced state of awareness, you're going to have to go through all the physical stuff to get to that energetic soul expansion. So extreme self-care. Slow down the world around you so that all you're focusing on is you, your body, your mind. Your, your mind won't be able to logic through it on your own. So listen to other podcasts. Listen to music that soothes you. Listen to the sounds of nature. Let the earth settle your mind. Listen to, watch movies that just delight you and make you laugh. And while your mind is engaged in that movie and your body is resting, your soul is going to be able to do what it needs to help you adjust to this jet lag. So go easy on yourself. Right on Saturday, <laughs> I, I needed to ground when I woke up. So I'll give you some examples from my life and maybe this will help you. I... I did massive like time zones and then back time zones. And so I got home at 3 a.m. on Saturday morning and I woke up at like 9 or 9.30. And my husband was going to go outside and mow the lawn and blow leaves and, you know, Midwest stuff that we do in the fall. And all I could think of is I got to get my feet on the grass. Like I need to be back here in the Midwest. I got to be outside. So I said, no problem, I'll mow and you blow leaves. And so I put my music on, my headphones, and I put on my tank top, my shorts, and adjusted right back into the weather, the temperature, the smells, the sounds of here, of home. And so I mowed the lawn back and forth, up and down, <laughs> walking through my garden, <laughs> feeling my feet on the grass, looking at all the familiar sounds, and it helped me land right back in my body bring my body right back to this place. Even though I expanded and I had these uh, consciousness, soul expansions, my physical body needed that safety, that cocoon, that familiar familiarity of the colors, the sounds, the smells of home. Do the same for yourself, right? When I finished with that, I needed my smoothie. I do my smoothie in the morning. I like my fruit. I like my protein powder. It's cold. It's yummy. <laughs> I made myself a smoothie and I hopped into the tub and I did my meditation. I, I dropped myself right back into my routine. It was a little later than it normally would be, but I brought myself back, my body, into this familiar flow of the day. I did dishes, I made food, I, I did a little bit of laundry. I can't remember everything that I did, but it was very like slow and just what I needed, not worrying about what everybody around me needed, not communicating with everybody around me, just shh. Right, right in my zone. Letting my husband hold me when I felt really tired. Sitting on the couch when I was just too tired to walk around. And then going to bed early. I went to bed early and I put on my ocean music. I've talked about this so often, but I have the video on YouTube called Momsie's Lullaby. It's called Healing Sleep. It's a playlist on my soul journey with Vivian Gerard. There's a playlist called Healing Sleep and it's eight hours of this beautiful, peaceful ocean music that I recorded in Costa Rica. And you can hear the birds, you can hear the uh, ocean, you can hear people sort of talking in the distance. It's so comforting and it plays for eight hours. And so I put that on and I fell asleep. And I woke up on Sunday morning and I felt better. I felt normal. I could drop into my regular Sunday routine and do my call and, you know, do all the things I do on Sundays. I am very familiar with moving through consciousness and what it means and how it impacts the mind, the body, the spirit. If it's new to you, it's not going to be as easy. It's going to feel like things are falling apart or blowing up, like the world is a little chaotic and out of control. And so I'm, I'm urging you, if you're hearing this, to pull everything in settle into your own body, settle into the cocoon that you need to create, be extremely selfish about what your mind, your body, your spirit are guiding you to do, and then ease your way through it. And know what's on the other side is so good. <laughs> when you're in 3D, it's very familiar and known in black and white. 
When you move into 4D, it's like suddenly the sky has more stars in it. There's more lights, there's more beauty. The sounds are calmer, the colors are richer, the smells are more fragrant. It's like everything just becomes better. <laughs> and then when you move from 4D to 5D, it's like your whole body has joy and fireworks inside and it's so sweet and it's so good. Everything becomes more amazing. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. But you have to go through this tunnel, this portal, in order to get to that space. And that means your whole mind, body, spirit has to go through that. <laughs> like, it's like the birth canal. A baby in the traditional way has got to move through the birth canal to come out the uterus or the vagina of the mother to come out into the world. There's just, well, there used to be no other way. That was the way it would happen. It's the same for us when we're moving through consciousness. It's the same for us when we move through time zones. The only way to go through a time zone is to move from one time zone to the next, and your whole mind, body, spirit has to go with you. <laughs> so, yeah, jet lag is real. <laughs> it's real, and it also, it doesn't have to mean suffering. It doesn't have to drag on forever. So if you need support, if all of this is like having your mind go ding, 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 what? Yes, I don't even know what she's saying, but yes, that. Then buy the book, read what I'm describing. You'll know what dimensional level you're at because it'll be the one that makes sense to you when you read the book. The one that isn't making sense to you is not the one you're at. <laughs> so you'll just know. <laughs> I've had so many people say that. They're like, I loved your book until like chapter five and I had no idea what the words were even saying to me. <laughs> I'm like, that's because you're clearly not there yet. No worries, you'll get there. <laughs> All in the right time. All in divine time. <laughs> so yeah, extreme self-care, step by step. It's all okay. Jet lag goes away. You know, at some point it's going to evolve and morph into something else. And you are where you are right now with purpose, with such powerful intention. So be fully present where you are and know that what's coming is so so good so good and it's only getting better so breathe <laughs> what did i say breathe rest drink eat sleep breathe some more yeah it's all good it's all good all right you <laughs> will We'll see where the adventure takes us tomorrow. I will meet you back in this space then. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. I invite you to join me in aligning with the optimal health of your mind, body, spirit in the virtual community of Viv's Energy Gym. You can learn more at mysouljourney.com. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.